We're going to practice making our string crossing movements really smooth and well controlled. In smooth crossings, there are eight different combinations of separate and slur bowing patterns. The ones on the left hand side start on a down bow, and the ones on the right hand side are exactly the same, except that they start on an up bow. It's really important to anticipate all of your string crossing motions so that you don't leave it till the last minute. Otherwise, it'll be really jerky and too sudden. They won't sound smooth. It's a bit like cycling along and suddenly deciding that you want to turn a corner without planning for it. You need to think ahead and plan how you're going to turn smoothly. Otherwise, it might be too sudden and you might fall off your bike. Your upper arm needs to move in good time so that you're always arriving on the next string just at the right moment. Here's exercise one. When I say the word move, I'm initiating the arm movement so that the bow arrives on the new string at exactly the right time. G, move, D, move, A, move, E, E, move, A, move, D, move, G. Let's try the same with exercise two. Because this one is slurred, it's easier to keep it smooth as you move from string to string. G, move to D, move to A, move to E. E, move to A, move to D, move to G. From exercise four onwards, we combine different separate and slurred bowing patterns in each exercise. This makes the coordination even harder, so you have to think ahead even more to anticipate what's about to happen. Down on the G, move to D, up on the A, down on the E. E up bow, move to A, down on the D, up on the G. Once you've played each line slowly, try playing the whole of smooth crossings again, but this time with a metronome. Think ahead and make sure that you land exactly on the beat at the end of each string crossing.